we're so cooked. Okay, so it looks like the robot is pulling out its own battery, charging it, and then grabbing a new battery, inserting it. Yeah, I mean, if it can handle business because it has low power. You know, what I'm wondering is, do you need the robot to be able to do this? Or could you have a bunch of robots that do their own thing and you have another robot that just swaps them all out? That way one robot wouldn't even be off of the line. I mean, logistically, we would have to think about the best way. I mean, but the fact that a robot can serve it itself and they can work 24 seven. So this is what, 99% uptime? Are you gonna work 99% of the time? With the advent of AI, we have this intelligence that is now genius level at everything. Most people, as it gets better and better and more useful, they're toast. We saw where it's gotten rid of low-skilled labor. We have self-checkouts. We have, it's writing copy and doing all the marketing stuff. It's able to do research. It, it's, people are done. And the blue collar jobs are safe for now, but with Androids, I mean, if you can get an Android that can build houses 24 seven, what happens to all those people? And people complain about illegal aliens, but they're not gonna be able to find work once the robots hit and they're already coming out.